today we're going to be looking into all of the kayak modifications that I've made since I've just got my kayak. So, it's this one right here. Uh, Perception Pescador 10. It's a great kayak. Grubs when they're playing basketball. Just ignore him. And first off, I'm just going to say so far I've had this for probably like a few weeks now. and. I mean, I haven't had any problems with it. I mean, it's got great storage and everything. But let's get right into the mods that I'm, I have on it so far and what I'm going to be making. The first mod that I have is going to be these rod savers. I mean, I don't really know how to explain it. I just tied a rope onto here. And what I do when I have rods back here, since these flush mounts aren't really like good for holding rods, I'll just clip this around my rod so I make sure it doesn't fall off. I have the same on this side. And what we have next is a thing to hold my pliers. What I did is I got Velcro right here. And I can like put on anything that I use Velcro with. Uh, yeah, basically interchangeable stuff. And right here, I've got some extra padding because this seat is not very comfortable. And what I did with this is I just have this here to carry it just by one hand since this one's kind of like crooked and I'm not really sure. And the last thing which we're going to be doing today is this milk crate, which I'm going to be putting on the back of my kayak. And as a lot of kayak anglers know, these things can be really useful to put on the backs of kayaks. So you can like put rod holders on here and stuff. And you can, the possibilities are just endless on what you can do with this little thing right here. So what we're going to be doing today is spray painting them to match my kayak. And we've got to do that over there because I don't want to get any of this stuff all dirty. Then we're going to put it on the back and see what we can build with just our homemade parts and just the stuff you can find around your house. So stay tuned let's get spray paint. Okay, now I just have to wait for the first coat to dry and then we'll go over it with red. Okay, now that we finished the first coat, we're going on to the bottom and we'll put on some red and get the second coat done. Okay, I think that should be good for now, so let's check back later and see if it's all dried up and see how it looks on the kayak. Okay, so we have officially completed painting this, and I honestly think it's going to match the kayak really awesome. So let's bring it on. Well, there's still some paint drying, but let's just bring it on over here. See how it looks compared to the kayak. I mean, I honestly think it'd fit awesome because it's got the red and black just like my kayak right here. So what I'm going to do is just set it right here. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like right here. I'm going to use these straps to pull it around. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm probably going to find a place to put my net since I have to keep my net up all the way in there. And it's kind of hard to get out if I catch a fish. So I'm probably going to get some rod holders on the side. Maybe some kind of net, and I'll just set my boxes in here rather than having to set my whole backpack in here. And hopefully this will come in handy whenever I'm out in the water, along with all the other tips that, or the other modifications that I've made to my kayak. Well, here's all the modifications put on my kayak right here. And I'm just going to go through all of them real quick to end the video. So first off, we've got the crate that we spray painted today. And I'm probably going to build more on that in the next video. And I've got these right here, which will make the rods so that they don't fall off. And it's really easy to just unclip them. and Pretty simple. And we've got another one right here. We've got the comfy seating. And then inside of here, we've got this too. 
And then inside of here, I've got my life jacket, extra pair of socks, and then I've got paddles back there. So there you go. That's pretty much all the modifications I've made. And I'm probably going to make another video for whenever I make more in the future. But until then, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.